Plasma is an ionized matter with a gas-like state. We associate it with the processes taking place inside stars or fusion reactors. However, as the so-called cold plasma, it is successfully used for manufacturing, e.g. semiconductor devices, smartphones, or cutting tools. So important for the modern economy. Industrial plasma processes also allow formation of ultra-thin, with only a few to several dozen nanometers, layers on various types of surfaces, protecting the displays of smartphones and glasses, stopping infrared radiation on architectural glass, or transparent electronic paths on OLED displays. A key element of the manufacturing process of the above-mentioned products are devices which supply the energy needed to produce and sustain plasma. To see how these devices, a result of Polish technical thought, are created, we are visiting today Trump Hudinger. Ready? Let's get started. We take our first steps to the Research and Development Center of Trumpf Hudinger in Jilanka, near Warsaw. The development of the device powering the industrial plasma processes begins with the selection of the topology of the device, enabling it to meet all the customer's requirements, such as voltage, power, frequency, or dynamics of its operation. Simulations of the electromagnetic field, or coolant flows, are then carried out to check whether the design corresponds to the assumed parameter set. When the design is ready, work begins on the device prototype. At this stage, the printed circuit boards and the mechanical design of the device powering the plasma process are created. At the same time, engineers are working on control as well as regulation and measurement algorithms that will allow the plasma processes to be carried out. Developers prepare software for FPGA systems and microprocessors, which are the heart of the control board of these devices. The design of a plasma generator basically consists of a heat sink through which the cooling water flows, power elements, and printed circuit boards. However, there are approximately 30,000 components that make up the plasma generator in total. For comparison, the average car consists of about 12,000 parts. Time for inspection. Prototypes of the device are connected at dedicated and specialized test stands in order to check their essential functionality, efficiency, or cooling operation determined at the design stage. The most demanding stage of prototype verification are the accelerated aging tests. The prototype is subjected to vibration and periodic temperature changes in the range from minus 50 to plus 150 degrees Celsius in order to eliminate possible design weaknesses already at the prototype stage and thus ensure the highest reliability of the final device, which powers industrial plasma process. Finally, it is necessary to verify the behavior of the plasma generator in real operating conditions. The industrial-sized plasma systems available at the Research and Development Center in Jilanka allow to reproduce the processes powered by the Trump devices in various customer applications. If the device meets all the requirements, serial production can be started. Now we move to the electronics production department. Here, electric components are mounted on PCBs. Materials that will be mounted on the board, i.e. resistors, capacitors, integrated circuits, are delivered mainly in reels and registered in the system. The reels go to the appropriate rack and then directly to production. They are first placed in the feeders and then installed in the appropriate line module. Now a kind of hot sandwich is created. Soldering paste is applied to dedicated pads, soldering points, and according to the design, individual elements are placed on it. The whole component is soldered in a 10-zone furnace and then controlled by an automated 3D inspection system. Line capacity is 60,000 components per hour. Now is the time for the assembly using through-hole technology. Different types of capacitors and connectors are placed on the boards by the operators. In some cases, a laser station is used, which precisely indicates the assembly position. 
Then the board enters the selective soldering wave where, at the point where the operator has positioned the component, the flux is fed and soldering takes place. After the assembly, the board is inserted into the inter-circuit tester, in which the electrical inspection takes place. Now we are changing our location once again. We are now in the production hall in Warsaw's Targuvec district. This is where the electronics and other components are delivered for final assembly of the device powering plasma processes. From the warehouse, all components are transferred to the assembly stations. On this occasion, we can also show you other modern logistics solutions, reminiscent of automated parcel lockers. These are used in the company to exchange non-production materials between individual buildings. Back to the assembly process. The base of the devices is the heat sink, to which other components are attached. Transistors, resistors, diodes. The automatic arm picks up the appropriate components and feeds them to the robot for bolting. In the next production step, PCBs and other components are installed. Now is the time for functional tests to check if the device is operating according to specification. Load tests are also carried out under extreme conditions. All production data and test results are recorded in the ERP system. Devices that power plasma processes can be installed in power cabinets. This is done at the Trumpf plant in Markey, where control and electrical cabinets are produced for the entire Trumpf group. However, finished generators are usually packed in boxes. They are delivered to customers all around the world. Warsaw, Zielonka, Marki. Is this the beginning of the Polish Silicon Valley?